Hello guys, thank you for getting interested about AWSS. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to install AWSS on Windows 10, although I recommend installing it directly on production server. To run AWSS on Windows 10, you will need to install some other programs. Step 1, installing ZAMP local server, we call it localhost on your PC. So by opening Google Chrome, uh, I'm using a virtual machine so it's going to be uh, a little bit slow please go with it by writing uh, first of all let's open the project so we read from it it would it would be easier so github.com slash Tarek Sagery is my name and the project name you can follow the steps while following the, this video also so I'm gonna read from here to make it easier for you so uh, we just download from here opening ZAMP installing on Windows you can see like this so you can download any version that would suit your project if you don't know which version to pick. Just pick the, the first one. So just let's wait a little to be downloaded. Next, after downloading, we, uh, we click on the downloaded setup file and next, 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 then finish. I'm gonna go ahead and show you. Okay, next, 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 next. It will take a while, uh, the installation, be, since I'm using virtual machine. So uh, please pause the video and then after you finish the installation, you can continue. I'm gonna skip it, okay? I'm gonna skip this so it doesn't take much time now after it finishes the ZAMP control panel automatically opens you can also open open it from start menu by typing ZAMP control panel just like this ZAMP control panel just like this you, you will see it so after you open this, uh, before you start Apache and MySQL, you must make sure that Skype is not open and you don't have virtual machine program installed on your Windows PC because Skype and ZAMP get port confliction and virtual machine program has background services running in the background which also conflict with the, with the ZAMP. So you must kill those services using task uh, manager before running ZAP. If you don't know if you don't know about this please Google it. Anyway after running ZAP you should start Apache and MySQL and then allow access to this stuff. Allow access. Now everything is set. After uh, making sure ZAP is working we need a project. You uh, you must have a project as a test sample for AWSSS to test for. For for this video's sake, I'm gonna download a random project from GitHub and set it up in front of you. So I'm gonna write. Uh, I as far as I remember, a project uh, online shopping system. GitHub. So I know this project, yes. I'm gonna download this project. After it got downloaded, we need to show in folder, then extract here all. Then we code we go to Zump's HT docs file. I'm showing you right now. Zump enter HD docs enter. This is the files that we we, we will be shown on localhost. See? This is the files are here right now currently. So now uh the online shopping system has been extracted. We move it 
here before we do anything let's import the database we create an empty database and then we import it import the data file SQL file PHP sorry my admin localhost and localhost php my admin wouldn't work if these two are not started so make sure they are started i'm creating a new database don't touch these ones you should know this already shopping system choosing choosing this should you should know which one but i know the default one it's general create so now we import before we import we need to find the d database file which is here should be here sql or database file it's, it's written somewhere so copy control c then import choose file control v open go so if we try to open the project I in here like let's take the name localhost even if we imported the database right now it's full it, it wouldn't work because we didn't connect it yet so we will we need to find the connection file mysql connect so it says uh, in this file db.php there is no connection unknown database so it's not set yet we just imported it we didn't connect it so the file db should be here as in the main in the main side index so we, we open it with notepad and change it shopping system we wrote we created shopping system correct so it should work the, the default username is root for zamp and the password is nothing empty the local ho local host is the local host or you can write 127 dot zero dot zero dot one it works also it means the local host so after saving we close it then we refresh voila so it worked okay now we have a working project so we go next to the next step next step is uh, downloading node.js now let's download node.js a specific version of node.js is required and install uh, and installing it is really easy so we will install from here the version is already set for it the version is this since I have 64 bit you should have also 64 bit you download this then opening it is pretty easy just click on it it's a setup file takes some time since I'm using virtual machine so please don't mind it next 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 then finish so the final step is running AWSS. So to run it, we need to download it. So let's download it fr from here, this GitHub repository. We just download it. Then we show in folder. So after it got confirmed and downloaded, we extract it. Extract all. Extract. It will take some time so you can pause the video so it got extracted now we rename it to AWSS only without the master then we move the folder to uh, next to the project we use the online shopping they should be on the same directory not inside it next to it so here should be here 
next we access the folder and we set the config file and the, the config PHP language file so we right click and edit you just need to edit this line default project path, path to scan so you go back copy the name again of the project that you want to scan and replace it here that's it change only this then control s to save then close so next we go back again to AWSS and we change this config now this is a little bit tricky but you need to concentrate uh, don't touch any of this just this guy db name change db name that we the, for the database to we created uh, shopping system we said right and the root password is same root and password are same next we find the user table inside the database and the hash and the password hash column and the salt for the user table and goes the same with the admin for password hash and salt so we look in the project add, uh, let's say we have admin info and user info we go first to the user info it's obvious that the user info name is the table of the user is user info user underscore info so we change it to that user underscore info next the password column is password there's no hash it seems they are not hashing so it's just password and it, it seems like they are not using the the developer didn't use any salting mechanism so we keep it empty next we go to the admin info we update admin info table then we check the same thing the username is admin name the password is admin password column admin password there is no salt so we keep it empty then we finish control s save okay this part is only related to mysql so if you're not planning to use mysql in the project just turn this flag to false like this okay but in this project we have mysql so there's no problem we close it now we are ready to roll let's run it just double click you can ignore this message by clicking more info and run anyway now it's ready you press press any key or enter and it will scan enter again we allow access So in 16 seconds, it scanned the whole project and it found 291 vulnerability. On my PC, it took only 5 seconds or 6 seconds, but, but since this is a virtual machine, it took more time. So in this, it says check the generated report.html file to see scan results. So pressing enter, it will close. Then you see this file is generated. Click report and you will see everything in detail. Close this. So the learning mechanism works as it as like this. You see, uh, for example, it says this file, action.php, has a vulnerability, MySQL injection vulnerability, found on line 8. This function can be injected. So you go to the line and you see that MySQL query, MySQLi query function can be injected. But let's say you don't know what does this mean. You can go down and to learn about how to fix your code and secure it against injections click here so you click here and you will see a, an explanation about the injection attacks uh, related to mysql etc ldap etc so if you even didn't understand you can watch videos you can read more and you see the whole full explanation about injection attack if you have any question you can comment 
on my on my uh, GitHub re repo or on this video. I will gladly help you. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye bye.